Brian with Flying Squirrel Outfitters, and I'm here to introduce the 21 foot long Base Camp Party Hammock. Uh, this video is to show you everything that's included with the product, how easy it is to set it up and pack it up when you're finished. So uh, let's get to it. So what comes with the Base Camp? Well, everything conveniently packs inside the large carrying pouch. That conveniently has a handle to make it extra portable. So on one side, you'll find one webbing strap for one tree, one side of the hammock. And on the other, you'll find the second one. And of course, within the pouch is the 21 foot long hammock. And on either end, you will find the wire gate carabiners. The wire gates are, have smooth edges. So if it were to attach to the material for whatever reason, it's not gonna poke or rip a hole in your hammock. And again, everything packs up nicely inside the pouch. All right, so how do you hang the straps? Well, like I said before, it's one continuous long loop of uh, loops. And so the daisy chain system requires you to just wrap, wrap it around the anchor point. And you have the two ends here. It doesn't matter. Either loop can go into either, and you just slide it through that end and cinch it to your anchor point. And make sure it's secure enough. Pull it tight. There's always a little bit of adjustment, especially when you set up the hammock and you set it in. So kind of let it sit a little bit. Move on to set up the other tree strap. Okay, next step, you want to clip one end of your hammock onto the webbing strap that you just fastened to your anchor point. What you do is just put the left side back up, pull out the carabiner. What I like to do is kind of cinch it back up. So it is just kind of suspended from one carabiner without it all falling out. Clip it onto one of the loops. You can adjust it later as you kind of feel out uh, the proper hang with it. But uh, you clip one in on like so, and then pull out the other carabiner and walk it to your next anchor point. Well, just as the same, clip it to the other webbing strap. So after you clip your second carabiner to your second strap, you may need to do some adjusting depending on the difference between your anchor point, um, how high maybe you need to suspend uh, where you're wrapping it around. So what's nice again about the webbing straps is that it is separated loops that you can easily clip in to adjust up or down. So maybe you need to bring it down more, maybe you need to bring it up more. Depending on your situation, what you're hanging from, uh, it's wise to make sure that you want that kind of proper 30 degree angle and the straps can allow you to make it So when you're finished hanging in your hammock at that good old party, you need to pack it up. So the most efficient way to do that is to unclip one end, the opposite end from where your pouch is located, which should be this. And what I like to do is kind of just let about 12 inches to, more than that and just kind of punch it up like this. There's no real right or wrong way to do this, but I found this is the easiest way to kind of punch it up. Get about the size of the pouch and shove it back in like so. So it's kind of good to leave that secondary carabiner kind of on the outside of where you're going to cinch it tight. There you go. Just leave it hanging from one end. Cinch that up a little bit better. Or remove it entirely. Pack it back up. Remove the straps and put it back in. You're good to go.